Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Rumors and spoilers about General Hospital hint at more rumors of Morris Bennett's retirement are circulating. Actress Laura Wright, who plays Carly Spencer, was quoted as saying he would leave in October. She stated in an interview that Jarley was taking place in November, but she couldn't have if Sonny Corinthos had been present, according to the mystery poster in Daytime Dish. Laura was interviewed by Bradford Anderson, who plays Spinelli, and Steve Burton, who plays Jason Morgan, on the most recent episode of the Daily Drama Podcast, which aired on September 6. What would happen to Sonny, Carly, and Jason was the topic of discussion on the podcast. On the other hand, neither Morris's future ambitions nor Sonny's status in the program were discussed. Additionally, there were a number of shorts. This was certainly not one of these since the daytime dish mystery poster heard this during Laura's interview. She didn't picture Sonny and Carly getting remarried when Steve asked her in a previous short, but they did talk about Jason and Carly being each other's ride-or-die partners. Although Morris recently tweeted that he might not be making personal appearances for a while, he has not confirmed or disputed that he is retiring or that Sonny is being written off the show. In reference to his September 6 event in Belmore, New Jersey, he tweeted this message, urging followers to take note. Let's have some fun, this might be my last one for a while. I'm not trying to get you to go, I'm just telling the truth. However, that might simply indicate he is working on other projects or has other commitments, or it could mean he will be really busy filming General Hospital as Sonny. How might Morris be written out given the present plot if he is retiring? We already know that Sam McCall will die, and there's a chance that Sonny will have a role in that outcome. The show is shot out of chronological order, with some scenes shot less or more time before the air date. Someone might come after Sonny and succeed in order to exact revenge for the killing of John Jagger Cates. However, Sonny stays, and whatever the daytime dish poster heard, or believed he heard Laura Wright say, might have been open to interpretation. Spoilers for General Hospital reveal this year, Jason Morgan and Police Commissioner Anna Devine have undoubtedly shown each other more sides. Since coming back to Port Charles, Jason and Anna have collaborated closely to bring justice to the people who are important to them and to free Jason from the control of the late FBI Special Agent John Jagger Cates. Jason could tell Anna understood his situation and that she would respect his need to keep Carly Spencer safe. She had the option to turn on him and defeat Carly, but she chose not to. In a similar vein, Jason was gracious enough to allow Anna to express her affections for Valentin Cassidyne, despite the fact that doing so would have put his relationship with Kate's in jeopardy. We're starting to wonder what kind of alliance, or more, might be brewing as this pair cooperates more than opposes one another. Anna grows more fond of Jason the more she gets to know him in a manner like to that of her Honest, daughter. Anna has Robin's never been particularly Scorpio. hostile toward Jason, Nonetheless, her regard for him was not as strong as it is now. Naturally, she still finds his purported job offensive, but she has previously found faults in a lot of individuals, including her most recent suitor, Valentin. In addition, she was rather impressed with his recent action of notifying the police after discovering a crime scene. Up until this year, Anna has also always held a special spot in her heart for Sonny Corinthos abruptly turning against him and not wavering in her determination to obey the text of the law. Anna can no longer ignore Sonny's wrongdoings because of her daughter's love for him, which she kind of absorbed and then blindly followed. Nevertheless, Anna is beginning to see that Jason and Sonny are not as symbiotic as she had previously believed. Is it possible for Jason and Anna to go past their individual career interests and view each other differently? A rebirth of Carly and Jason's romance is unlikely given that Carly was briefly courted by WSB agent Jack Brennan and is currently getting swept up into a phony relationship by Sonny. Jason Morgan gets a new mission, 
Jocelyn Jacks pays him a contentious visit, and Sasha Gilmore receives a surprise. Following Violet Finn's astute inquiries about becoming a mother, Brooke Lynn Quartermain Chase is speaking with her mother, Lois Serolo. Harrison Chase and Brooke Lynn seem to have talked about it, but perhaps now isn't the perfect moment. As their heart-to-heart -heart conversation continues, Lois and Brooke Lynn acknowledge that adding a baby to the mix is simply too much. Currently, a large number of kids reside in the Quartermain estate, including the toddler ace Prince Cassidine. Until Laura and Kevin Collins return from their hunt for Lucky Spencer, he stays with Tracy Quartermain. While all this going on, Sasha and Cody Bell are outside. She asks Cody if he's ready for something thrilling and enjoyable because she has a surprise for him. His expression says it all. He's staring at her, waiting to hear what she has to say. Naturally, there's a chance, albeit slim, that Sasha has offered to look for Ace while Tracy takes a break. However, is there a small pony in the Quartermain stables somewhere? Ace is not even tall enough to mount a goat. She's probably talking about something completely different. When Justin went to see her brother, Michael Corinthos, she didn't anticipate such a combative visit. Jocelyn seems to have wanted to discuss Special Agent John Jagger Kate's murder, but Michael firmly interrupts her. Undoubtedly, Jocelyn remains enraged about their mother Carly Spencer's affair with Sonny Corinthos, which she believes was done to provide him with a false alibi. Jocelyn is unaware that Michael, who witnessed the aftermath and Sonny brandishing a gun, is also involved in the cover-up. But he has no sympathy for Jagger. He tells her that she shouldn't expect him to cry over the death of that scoundrel. When Jason tells Carly to do not get involved with Jack Brennan, he means it. Carly has been pulling strings to locate Lucky in order to save Lulu Spencer's life by taking advantage of Brennan's apparent attraction to her. Being full siblings, Lucky is most likely her liver transplant match. Jason doesn't want Brennan involved, so it appears that his new task is to go find Lucky on his own. This isn't the first risky assignment he's gone on. Thy Miller has some pretty significant questions for Sonny somewhere. She informs him that she's curious about what he plans to do. Could she be attempting to shield her legal partner and best friend, Alexis Davis, from charges related to Kate's murder? Unbeknownst to them both, Molly Lansing Davis has already made an official complaint against her sister Christina Corinthos Davis at the PCPD. This, following a heated dispute with Alexis in the PCPD interrogation room. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.